Sean Tucker says he was a very, very fearful flyer to the point that he truly believed it was dangerous. He knew he could go into a full blown panic attack if he even banked the plane more than, say, 30 degrees. Well, Sean claims that his eyes were probably closed in that power out stall on the check ride. So he faced his fear and he took aerobatic training. He says, when you conquer that fear, you become stronger. And I fell in love with what I was afraid of. Well, today, as a member of Team Oracle, Sean's air show routine has thrilled over 100 million spectators. Over half of the maneuvers are original and have never been duplicated by other aerobatic pilots. Born in Eagle Rock, California in 1952, Sean Tucker grew up hanging out at small airports with his father, William, an aircraft industry lawyer. By the age of 17, Tucker had begun flight lessons, and he enrolled in an aerobatics course to conquer this fear. After the first roll, when the airplane flew and didn't fall out of the sky, it was hook, line, and sinker. Tucker was sold. It then became his life's passion and goal to take flying out of just the X and Y axis and to explore the art of the Z axis through sky dancing. In 1976, he bought his first Pitts aerobatic biplane and shortly thereafter began performing in local California air shows. In 1979, while practicing an attempt to break the record of 30 inverted flat spins, Tucker wasn't able to stop the maneuver and he was forced to bail out of the pits. During the early 80s, Tucker worked as a crop duster, flying Stearmans and Bell Model 47 helicopters. In 1988, after a string of successes in regional and state contests, he won the U.S. National Advanced Aerobatic Championship. In 1991, Tucker received his first sponsorship from Randolph Sunglasses to fly at air shows all across the nation. In 1994, MCI sponsored Tucker in the 1-800 Collect plane, later as the 1010-220 airplane. Tucker has been awarded the World Aerobatic Federation Championship and the International Council of Air Shows Sword of Excellence Award. He's a four-time winner of the Championship Air Show Pilots Association Challenge. In 1992, he became the first of only two individuals ever to win the two most prestigious air show industry honors in the same year, the Archul Memorial Showmanship Award and the Bill Barber Award for Air Show Showmanship. Tucker's daytime performance called Sky Dance is an original aerial program featuring many signature maneuvers. In the centrifuge, reaching speeds of up to 230 miles an hour, Tucker puts the Oracle through a grueling eight to 10 end over end tumbles in a giant arc across the sky. In the Son of Edwin, named after a friend and former performer, Tucker appears out of control as he performs a 200 mile an hour vertical climb and enters what's called a Lamshavak, which transitions into a torque roll and culminates in a vertical slide backwards of over 100 miles an hour. He then swaps ends only to snap roll the aircraft a few more times and crisply stops with the nose pointing perfectly vertical to the tarmac below. In 1997, the Sean D. Tucker School of Aerobatic Flight, now known as the Tutima Academy of Aviation Safety, opened as the world's premier precision flight training school. Sean has a passion for sharing his love of aerobatics as well as a strong drive to increase the safety of pilots of all types of planes, including general aviation, military, government, and commercial. The world-renowned Aviation Academy teaches pilots to save their lives in case of an emergency. All of Sean's instructors are professionals and passionate about both the importance of safety in the sky and the beauty of the art form of aerobatic flight. All of the instructors are active airshow pilots. Tucker's most recent challenge is the formation of the Collaborators, a four-ship aerobatic team that's been performing for the past three years. The pilots are all instructors in his flight school, including his son, Eric. 
He said it's the most entertaining, dynamic formation aerobatic team in the nation. The team members combine the grace of precision and formation aerobatic flying with the drama and dynamics of solo flying because it's all done during the routine. In true Tucker style, his ever energetic personality, showmanship and love of flying are contagious. Whether he's talking to experienced pilots or enthusiastic fans, he leaves everyone awe-inspired. Sean Tucker, the ambassador of aerobatics and of safety in the sky, has earned his place in the